stop everything you're doing because everything you know about PC building is about to change because for the first time in 19 years we are getting a brand new revision of the ATX standard. That's right, Intel came down from Mount Olympus and declared that we should all be building our PCs slightly differently. What does it mean for you? Well, in reality, not much. Because even though we've already been with ATX 2.0 for 19 years, ATX 3.0 doesn't feature too many major changes. And one of the main changes you're probably already sort of familiar with, and that is 12 volt only. If you haven't seen one of the million videos about that, including my own, 12VO is a brand new standard for how power supplies should be delivering power to your motherboard. And instead of the familiar 24 pin motherboard connector, you get this array of connectors instead. And in theory, it should help with power consumption on your PC, which is pretty good, I think we can all agree. And seeing how being harassed left and right by new legislation that is targeting PC power consumption, then this is going to help tremendously with that issue. The other key change in ATX 3.0 is that the 8-pin PC connector is finally being joined by its bigger brother, the 12-pin. And wow, does this bigger brother pack a punch, because it can deliver up to 600 watts of power to your graphics card. That's right, 600 100 watts on a single 12 pin connector. And while Nvidia have been trying to make this 12 pin a thing already, it just hasn't been taking off because, well, for most people, it's simpler to just go with several 8 pins instead. And this is simply more future proofing for when more power hungry cards start coming out, like next generation PC Gen 5 graphics cards and AI accelerators. Those things are going to require a lot of juice. And there it is, ATX 3.0 in a nutshell. It really isn't a big change as you can tell, but still something to keep in mind. And odds are your next PC is going to be ATX 3.0. Seeing how next generation Intel and AMD motherboards are most likely going to be 12VO, and seeing how next generation graphics cards are going to almost exclusively use these 12 pins, it is something you're going to just have to get used to. So uh, hopefully you are in a market for a brand new power supply, because Intel just made you buy one anyway. And if you need some PC components for your upcoming ATX 3.0 compliant build, then make sure to use our Amazon links down in the video description below, because that way you don't pay anything extra and we get some money that gets reinvested straight back into the channel, so it's a win-win. If you want to help support this channel in other ways, we also have our merch store with some pretty awesome designs and also down there is our Patreon. And even just one singular dollar a month truly goes a long way while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, Common Gage Clothing, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much. Support truly goes a long way. Down there, you're also going to find our Discord server if you want to talk to me or others at this or whatever else, really. Plus, down there, there's our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.